<laughs> okay, we're ready. Um, so, what's the biggest crucible facing leaders today? Jan, I think that um, leaders uh, face a challenge to be inspiring and vulnerable and um, authentic. Mm -hmm. um, I think that the amount of pressure put on um, leaders by companies, by uh, customers, by the people they serve, by themselves, um, I think that for me uh, uh, a great lesson is how to be authentic um, in my own leadership create that that voice from my experience and the kind of leader that I want to be and work hard to do that day after day mm -hmm. you know um, some people I think um, imagine that to be a leader and have that corner office and have that title oh gosh that's 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 where I aspire to be but it also is I think the loneliest office it is the uh, most challenging office because leaders um, so very much want to develop, inspire, lead, um, uh, and innovate uh, and change the world. And that's a lot to do um, um, at um, organizations. So I, I do believe that's, that's a great challenge that other colleagues um, have voiced to me. And it's certainly true to the work that I do um, here at the Children's Cancer Association for the last 20 years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. and, and what's the one characteristic you believe every leader should possess? Hmm. Maybe a few. I think okay. um, grace. Uh, grace with um, our um, selves, with others, with the day or challenge at hand. Life is such a beautiful, bittersweet journey for all of us. We all have our incredible. Um, accomplishments and successes and uh, great challenges and hardships uh, and I think grace uh, in how we we carry that um, into uh, interactions with people into the work that we do uh, matters in a real human way that allows people to um, feel inspired to kind of summit that that mountain with us you know mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I don't no, know. No, no. That's great. There I, you go. Yeah. I, I, I think that's a terrific answer. Um, what, what kind of mentors do you have, and, and do they hold you accountable? Hmm. For me, in my life, when I think of the word mentor, I think of a lot of people um, that have surrounded me in different capacities from my mom, mm -hmm. um, to my children, to um, the folks that I have the privilege to work with, and very much uh, the children that we serve at the Children's Cancer Association. Um, those opportunities to, to learn in an informal way from other folks' life experience and listen um, has been so powerful to my growth and understanding of my <clears throat> my role as a leader um, and my um, um, ability to realize my potential um, and think about making um, very authentic and genuine connections with folks. Um, I would say in more a formal uh, mentorship role, there's probably five or six folks that um, have been um, cultivating my leadership and have been um, available um, for consistent 
uh, opportunities to listen and help reframe or allow me to reflect and see a different uh, perception of an experience um, mm -hmm. that I'm going through or help me tackle a challenge. And they hold me accountable um, through their friendship mm -hmm. and their meaningful um, and transparent conversations with me. Like, mm -hmm. how the hell are you? <laughs> and uh, how did you solve that? And what were you um, thinking when you made that decision? Ah, okay, nice. Or mm -hmm. you might think of these types of um, strategies next time. So um, I would say informal and formal mentors um, have mm -hmm. been um, really powerful gifts in my life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and how does solitude and the power of introspection inform your actions as a leader? Mm. I would say for me the perfect imbalance of um, intensity and action and involvement in sport, in life, in family, in work and an intention of solitude um, has been critical uh, for a creative process for me, um, opportunity for me to reflect, to um, um, continue to enhance and think about ways to be a um, um, more thoughtful leader. Mm -hmm. um, so pr pretty critical. Um, I never feel like I have a balance, but I think if I have an imbalance where sometimes it's crazy and then sometimes it's not, and I try to um, look at that as a teeter-totter effect in my life. I feel I'm much more successful than an executive or a leader that says, hey, I have balance. Um, I, I have a, a beautiful mixture of imbalance. And um, um, for me, that works. Um, yep. mm -hmm. and, and, and last question, what, what does self-reliance have to do with leadership? Hmm. I think self-reliance is the essence of strength for, for leaders. Um, as I have shared before, um, I think that being a leader is incredibly hard work and we are only as successful as we make others and develop individuals and teams and organizations. And when we are able to be self-reflective, to grow and develop ourselves um, as individuals and as leaders, I think that um, that keeps us um, um, powerful and it keeps us um, able to inspire and connect um, with people. Uh, well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. That one's not coming out elegantly. Um, um, where can I go on? Well, that? I think you you said it. I love this quote because I've never heard anyone say it. Um, that it's the essence of strength for leaders. Hmm. I mean, I, I've never heard anyone say it, hmm. quote it that way. I'm, I mean, I've always said I, I see self-reliant leadership as knowing which questions to ask. And, and having the courage to answer them and act. Mm -hmm. and, and you said the essence of strength. So c can you say more about that? Yeah, um, when, I'm art when, um, when I think about um, the leaders that I admire the most, Jan, and I, I think about the folks that have the courage to lead and inspire and develop themselves. Um, you know, they look in the mirror and they say, that was an incredible accomplishment that was made possible by this team, by the work that we did together. Um, and my ability to learn and to grow and develop myself and my team um, is essential um, for uh, my ability to, to be, I think, a, a valued leader. So I think our I think our ability as leaders to um, hold ourselves accountable, to 
manage with courage, to lead with courage, um, when it's hard, <laughs> when it, when it um, is full of barriers and difficult to see beyond the next day, but we